Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be talking you through how you can use ChatGPT to make your revision so much more efficient. ChatGPT is an amazing tool that will help you streamline your revision, save time and ace your exams and it's completely free. So let's get into it and I'll show you exactly how. So if you've never heard of ChatGPT, let me start by just telling you exactly what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is an AI-powered computer program that can have natural language conversations with you. It uses machine learning algorithms to learn the vast amount of data and provide personalized recommendations. So ChatGPT can be helpful in assisting with practice questions for you and also providing revision strategies. So essentially, it's a bit like having a smart study budget that you can ask for help and making it a really, really powerful tool for personalized learning experiences. And that is exactly what I want to talk you through, how you can use this really powerful AI tool to maximize your revision. Now, I personally use ChatGPT all the time to help me create content and to help me come up with exam questions while I'm teaching. So let me talk you through how you can use it for similar reasons. I know lots of students like to save entire past papers until right before the exam, so you can really have a go in exam conditions when you're at the peak of your knowledge. But you also know that you should be doing lots of past paper questions to help you develop those skills. So I had a go on ChatGPT to see how good it would be at creating new exam questions for you. So one thing you can do is just like I've done here is type into ChatGPT what your qualification is, what exam board it is, which topic you want questions for, and even what type of question you want. So give it really specific instructions and ask it to generate some past paper questions for you or some exam questions. And don't forget to tell it to give you the answers as well so you can check your answers. Now, it's not a perfect tool for this because obviously it's not actually an AQA person writing these questions or OCR, whatever your exam board is. And what I tend to find when I've done this is it's good for coming up with questions that are knowledge base but not so good application questions or maths or data analysis but it's a good way to get a load of questions to test your knowledge first of all okay the next strategy number two is summarizing your notes you will probably have heard me say so many times do not waste your time rewriting notes, creating revision notes because it's passive and it doesn't help you remember. But so many of you do say to me that you really like to have revision notes though, so can you still do it? Well, I have found the perfect compromise where I will get the solution of you're not gonna be wasting your time and you will get the solution of you can still have a set of notes and that's for using ChatGPT. So you can actually copy and paste a section of notes that you might have. Now you do have to have this electronically, not on paper, but if you have got a digital book copy, for example, you could copy and paste it from that. And then what you tell ChatGPT is, for that section of text, summarize it, but be really specific. So I tried it in a few different ways. You could say, summarize it by turning this text into key points as bullet points. That worked really well. Another thing that I've done is using my A-level notes, I actually copy and pasted one of the entire topics into ChatGPT and I told it to turn it into a set of flashcards. So what it then did was from all of those notes, it came up with multiple questions and answers or key terms and definitions and it turned into a set of flashcards. So that's another great way that you could use ChatGPT to turn your extensive notes into summaries, bullet point lists or even flashcards. And then number three is using ChatGPT to generate revision quizzes. Now this is great for both students and teachers. What you can do again is copy and paste in a section of text from either the book or from your notes. And then you can ask it to turn it into an interactive quiz or even just say a quiz. You could be even more specific than that and ask it to turn it into short answer questions or you could say more like a past paper format. But for this, because we've already done the past papers, I'm gonna say try this one as just short answer questions. And then it will just come up with a whole list of questions and answers that you can use to test yourself. From that, it'll be a great way for you to be able to work out which bits of the text or the theory do you remember versus the bits of the text that you don't remember. And you can then use that 
to really focus your revision. And that takes me on to the last idea. You can even use ChatGPT to create a revision plan for you. Simply give it the instructions, which days you want to work, how many hours you want to work, when you are or are not free, and what time you want to be finished by. Make sure as well that you tell ChatGPT which subjects you're revising for, and it will come up with a revision plan for you. You can even tell it to present it as a table rather than a list, and then you can print that table out and you've got a revision plan ready for you that you can follow every single week, saving you ages of procrastination time creating one. So that is it, a little whiz through ChatGPT and how you could be using it to maximize your revision, your studying, to really streamline this process, save you time and to help you improve your exam grade. If you did find this helpful, then don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you want even more help with your revision, then I recommend you watch this video next.